What is up you guys? We are back with another video today. Today's video is a little different. It's not like any of my other videos. But let me tell you, it's pretty interesting because I've seen it on YouTube and I think you'll like it too. I have a lot of books, right? And I want to show you guys my little book collection. But yeah, let's get into it. I'm a little tired because we just got back from like a long day of golfing. And I'll tell you, look at that. My shoulders will be burnt. Uh. But <laughs> we're gonna be okay with it though, because I'm gonna get some aloe rub and we're gonna be fine. It's Alice in the Wonderland. Look how thick it is. Damn, not the thick ass book. Would you read this? <laughs> Joking, it's not a book. <laughs> it's just the case. So it does come with a little book in here. It's paperback, if I can get this thing out. I've had this for the longest time, I think for a couple of years now. Um, I don't know where I got it, but I love Alice in the Wonderland. And so is my husband, so like, it's perfect to keep in here. And it also came with a puzzle. I put the, the puzzle inside of this Crown Royal bag. Kind of keep it together, you know? It was the only thing that I could find to actually contain the puzzle. <laughs> but yeah, and then on the inside, it shows this little thing. <laughs> I did not think at all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it shows this on the inside. <laughs> if you can see without me peeking through the corner. But yeah. Ain't that cool? I really like it. Just try not to drop it next time. This next book is called Rich Dad Poor Dad. I'm currently halfway through it. You see this little marker? It's halfway through. I really like it because he talks about becoming more financially literate. He talks about like how the low class, middle class, and the upper class kind of finance their money. And he talks about like how he, if you, you've probably already read this book, it's been out there for a while. But he also talks about his dad and his friend's dad. His dad was a school teacher. Um, he kind of lived off the mindset of you have to work really hard in order to get a paycheck when you get a pay raise Then you increase your spendings basically, which is not a very good money mindset And his rich dad his friend's dad owned a business and Taught him a little bit more about money and how to make it work for you in a sense and how to like gain assets and etc So if you really want to read this book so you can understand money a little bit more I'm sure there are a lot more money books out there, but this one is pretty interesting. I think you guys should try it out All right, so this next one is called healing crystals This is when I was in my crystal phase. I still do kind of like crystals um, Yeah, I was like so big into it a couple years ago. It has like everything in here um I never read it. I don't know where I got it. I think my sister might have gotten this for me, but sorry, I was flipping through it without you guys looking. But yeah, a lot of a lot of words in there, like all of the books. But it, it's pretty interesting looking. <laughs> I haven't read it yet, but hopefully one day I'll get around to it. This other one isn't a book. It's a doodle book. So. Look how cute that is. And then when you flip through, it shows you how to make these little doodles. Isn't that adorable? And then you can do it yourself on the page. My sister got me this one. I absolutely love it. I did use it. Let me see. Oh, you could do your thunder cloud. It's so scary. Rawr. But I like it. If you guys like little cute designs, you should totally get this little doodle book. Yeah. It was only $5. I think she got it at Five Below. And here, for you guys, this was at Target. Okay, I got this book at Target for 30% off. Another crystal book! <sighs> I got this a couple years ago. I did look through it a little bit, only for my zodiac sign, obviously. Because why would I want to learn about all the other ones when I can learn about mine? So I got really familiar with my Libra zodiac. Um, but it's really cool. It shows you different pages with the like, different crystal things. I don't know how to explain it, but if you're a Scorpio, this page is for you. I'm a Libra, but I really like it. It shows like the different stones for each birth month. It talks about them a little bit, and then it talks about like your moon, your sun, your energies, etc. So if you're into zodiacs and crystals and all that, 
totally try getting one of these books. I don't know if Target carries it anymore since I did get it like a year or so ago. Hmm, I wonder if I can look at the date. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Oh, it was made in 2020, so it might could still be out there. This next book, I started reading it. I guess I kind of just lost interest a little bit, but I, it wasn't bad. I do need to pick it up. It's called Untamed. I don't remember what it's about. I need to read it. My one girly friend got it for me, and she told me that she read through it, and she's like, you should totally read this. So I need to read this. If you're a woman and you would like to read this, go for it. It's called Untamed. This next one I got when my family and I went on our family vacation a couple of years ago. It's called In Pieces. I got it out of the Airbnb that we were staying at. I honestly thought it was my mother-in-law's or her sister's, uh, so that's why I took it. Other than that, I wouldn't have taken it from the Airbnb because that's that's rude. But it, I, I really like this book a lot. I need to get back into it. I it was it was like drawing my attention into it, like it was sucking my soul into the book of the words. But it's basically about this young girl. She talks about her life, how her her, her dad or her stepdad is a stunt actor and like just from her childhood to her adulthood and she talks about a lot of other things in it too. I thought it was pretty interesting so I definitely need to get back into it so I can let you guys know. Yeah, that wraps up the video for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this quick video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Mwah! Peace out! Oh, I almost dropped the camera.